Two Majesties. The Two Majesties was created by Jean Leon Jerome, French artist, painter, and sculptor. Jean Leon Jerome was born and lived in the city of Bissau, which is in eastern France. When Jerome was 16 years old, he went to Paris, and Paul Delaro taught him to become an artist. When he was 22, he tried to enter the Prix de Rome, a scholarship for art students, but he failed the final stage. Jerome gave up his dream of entering the Prix de Rome and kept it. He visited West Africa many times, learned about their culture, and painted their wildlife, including lions, lots of lions. I'm sure you are looking at one of the lions he remembers from West Africa in his painting, The Two Majesties. In this work of art, Jean Leon Jerome uses very dull and earthy colors for the ground, but he uses warm colors and purple for the sky. He uses a very bright orange for the sun and makes the sun send some of its bright orange colors into the clouds. You can also see how Jerome used many lines to create many different effects. A close look reveals a great variety of lines. He used wavy lines to give the water some movement. The light from the sun makes some bright orange lines piercing through the clouds. Notice that the horizon in the painting is a long line that cuts across the entire canvas. Jerome also uses line to create texture. He makes the lion's body look smooth, and its mane looks furry. And the clouds look soft and puffy, just like real clouds. Another element Jerome uses is shape. Jerome uses very jagged and organic shapes for the rocks, and he uses an exact geometric circle for the sun. If you look closely, no two shapes are exactly the same. In the painting of the Two Majesties, Jerome created the illusion of movement. The waves look like they are crashing against the rocks, and the sun seems like it could begin to drift through the sky with your next glance. The line looks very still and calm. It almost lacks movement. I changed the two majesties, made four pictures, each using a different color. The different colors change the mood of the painting. The pictures using cool colors look calm, and the pictures using warm colors look happy. Now that I have told you about the two majesties, what do you think about it? Close your eyes for 10 seconds, and then open. What is the first thing you see? Why do you think you, that caught your eye? Quick. Uh, the sun caught my eye because it, I think it is basically the whole context of the painting. It's the only very, very, very bright color. That's what caught my eye. Um, I think the lion, I think, yeah, the lion or the sun, but the lion a little more because it's a little, it's a lot darker than the background behind it. Yeah, the line is like the darkest shade of the Yeah. If you could change one thing about this painting, what would it be? Um, quick. I would change it to a little bit, n not a sunset, mostly, but a sunrise. That would be really cool. As Mark Stevens said, one of the best things about paintings is their silence, which prompts a question. I hope you think a little bit more and a little bit deeper the next time you look at art.